Okay, this is the first time we've done this together, so pray. Pray, saints. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so if I can just have my mic turned up more. for you, child. Oh. 
matter what you're facing, it's gonna work out, it's gonna be all right. Cause my love, my love, my love will carry you. My love is a firm foundation. You can take it to the bank. I'll never let you down. I'll never leave you alone. I'll carry you, I'll carry you. I love you. Don't you know? like the band band go ahead and come on up please there are uh, there are two little letters no we'll do the offering later there's two little letters in the bible that are connected together it's the letter s and the letter o and it's in a verse we know very very well but don't always fully comprehend the majesty and the scope and the unreasonableness of it. It's found in John 3, 16. God so loved. There's a level of love that God expressed to us when he sent his son, another level of love when he allowed his son to die on the cross, another level of love when he raised him from the dead. And he continues to distribute that love to us all the time. It's a radical love that God has for you. But it means nothing to us unless we receive it, unless we embrace it, unless we are willing to say, that's how he loves me, not just how he loves somebody else. Perfect love casts out all fear, takes it away. Just stand, please. For a few years, I've been so taken by the unreasonable nature of God that he so loves us that he so forgives us that he so gives us do you understand there's no there's no limitation that he places on that he comes to us to fully embrace us and to allow us to be transformed by his love. It's truly really how transformation comes, it's by his love, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna sing something here. Firm foundation, I like it, I like it. And when we do that, I, I want, if you 
just, well, there's several things I feel like we're supposed to do right now. And um, one of those is for those who just need to be loved. You just need, you need to be loved. You need to embrace that love of the Father in a fresh new way, and it's just, you, you have a desperation for it. I don't, you know, a desperation. If that's you, just come right down here now. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Let's just deal with it. You just need to know that you're incredibly, absolutely, overwhelmingly loved. And it has nothing to do with what you've done. Good, bad, or ugly. It just doesn't matter. One of my favorite passages is Psalms 107. In that, in that passage, it says, Oh, that men would give thanks to the goodness for the goodness of God. And then it goes in and it talks about four different ways in which men, three different ways in which men have failed. And in each one of those times, but they cried unto the Lord and he heard their cry and answered their cry. And then the, one, the last one is the fourth way in which it was nobody's fault, but they got into a storm that they couldn't handle. And the same response. So God doesn't care whose fault there is. He doesn't care if you're at fault, if your neighbor's at fault, if you, your, your parents are at fault. He doesn't care. What he cares about is hearing your cry and responding to your cry of love. Love me, love me, love me. And he is saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you. No one could love you more than I love you. No one can do it. I want everybody else to extend your hands toward these right now. It's a prayer team ministry. Would you come? And I just want to lay hands on these that are down here. We want to just allow an impartation, the love of God. Some of you may be here because you, you feel like you've failed. But he loves you when you fail. Some of you are here just because you're starting to feel cold. You're starting to feel cold and, and want to have that new sense of love. It's okay. He loves you when you're cold. He loves you when you're hot. He loves you when you're bad. He loves you when you're good. It doesn't matter to him. He loves you. And when you are willing to embrace that love, he comes. This is a moment of encounter for you. A moment of encountering the love of God. You say, but I, I'm, I'm not worthy. But I'm not worthy. He made you worthy when he paid the price. We're worth something because of what someone's willing to pay for. He paid for you with his son. So you are worthy. You may not deserve it, none of us do, but you're worthy of it because he's made you worthy. So in, right now, just begin to receive his love. Go ahead, begin to sing. Extend your hands out there, just pray over these. Pray blessing, pray the love of Jesus over them, the precious love of God over their lives. He's a fun
there's not, there's not a one of us in this room that couldn't use a fresh revelation of the love of God. Some of, some of us in this room are, are dealing with difficult people and we just don't know how to love them. We need a fresh revelation of the love of God so we can love. First John says that we love him because he first loved us. The word him is not in the original language. It's we love because he first loved us. And it's nearly impossible to love difficult people if you don't have a revelation of the love of God yourself, right? In Ephesians chapter 3, it's a prayer of Paul, a very powerful prayer, but would you read just a part of it? For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded, rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, the height, to know, and that know there is knowing by experience the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. That we might know the dimensions of the love of God. I was coming home from one of the trips, I don't remember if it was Fiji or Philippines or it was a long flight I remember and I started talking with the Lord about about how he sees failure. He says, well, I, I, I really don't see you in light of failure. I see you in how much I love you. And he began to download something. And I, I wrote it down and I, I call it a love letter from God. It says, I love you when? So when does God love us and when does he not love us? It says, I love you always and in all ways. I love you when you're happy. I love you when you're sad. I love you when you're good and I love you when you're bad. I love you when you're brilliant and I love you when you're not. I love you when you're generous and I love you when you're stingy. I love you when you're right and love you when you're wrong. I love you when you're up and love you when you're down. I love you when you're lovely and I love you when you're ugly. I love you when you pray. I love you when you don't. I love you when you obey, and I love you when you don't. I love you when you try, and I love you when you don't. I love you when you care, and I love you when you don't. I love you when you keep going, and I love you when you give up. I love you when you win, and I love you when you lose. I love you when you're on your game, and I love you when the game's on you. I love you when you're at your best and I love you when you're at your worst. I love you when you're laughing, love you when you're crying. I love you when you're kind and gentle and self-controlled. But I love you when you're angry, unkind and out of control. I love you when you're innocent and I love you when you're guilty. I love you in victory and I love you in defeat. I love you when you succeed and I love you when you fail. I love you when you're coming in and I love you when you're going out. I love you in the springtime, summer, winter. I love you in the fall. I love you in the sunshine and I love you in the rain. I loved you where you were. I love you where you are. And I'll love you where you're going. I loved you before you were born and will love you after you die. I love you. And always, in all ways. And always, always means always not a one of us in this room couldn't use a fresh revelation of the love of God so I want you to find one or two people I want you to pray together and pray a fresh revelation love comes by revelation he'll, he'll cause you to have a revelation in a moment and then it's a journey from there on if you'll just find somebody and pray with them right now in this auditorium it could be husband and wife or friend 
somebody in this room, find somebody to pray with and just ask for a download of the presence of God in a fresh way that reveals His love. Bible says, the Bible says that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So if you, if you don't want to get with someone, just ask Holy Spirit right now. Ask the Holy Spirit to distribute His love in a fresh way in your heart. He will do that. He's here to do that right now. So Holy Spirit, we give you freedom and liberty in the house to distribute into our heart a fresh download of your love. That when we walk out of this place, we walk out changed. We walk out transformed. We walk out set free from fear. Fresh download. Fresh download. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are the one who distributes your love. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know Matt. This is Matt Gonzalez. We love Matt. We love his heart for the Lord and heart to see people know Jesus. So it felt like he had something to, to say here this morning. So would, would you listen up and respond? You know, in a couple of hours, there will be a couple of teams uh, playing a, a game.
to see you become a champion, to win a victory. And I can't think of a better day than on this Sunday for the ultimate victory to be released right now into the hearts of people. You know, there, there was a day, as Dave was saying, for God so loved the world that he gave. In this kingdom that we talk about, your victory has already been given. And all you have to do is receive. And this morning, I just feel so strong in my heart. You know, before we go and see two teams win or two teams battle for a win, the ultimate win can happen this moment in victory. If you're here right now, whether you were invited by somebody or maybe you're here, I feel, that, I feel like there's several people here. You were once walking with God circumstances situation hurt things may have gotten in the way and for some reason you've kind of gotten off the path like dave said earlier god's love has never changed for you and today is a great day to come back into alignment with his love yeah, yeah. and so if you're here right now no one looking around i feel that this is a moment if I could share this, we have four kids right now. Four, we have three daughters and a son. And this week I was just watching them share with me about the dreams that they've been encountering with God. And while they were sharing the dreams, the Lord reminded me that in 1994 when you made a decision to follow after me, a seed went into a ground where your generation line was forever altered. That yeah. your decision wasn't just for you, yeah. but your decision altered your generation line and your kids are receiving the fruit of one decision. And I can't help but think on this day, what one decision could forever alter your family line and your generation? What one decision right now in this moment can change a whole household wasn't that the promise yeah. that was given to the philippian jailer that your decision will affect your whole household yeah and i believe right now that god wants to change some addresses <laughs> yeah. if you're here right now no one looking around if you would say in this moment you know what, Matt? I don't know this Jesus, but I sure would like to meet him. Or maybe you're here and you would say, you know, I'm on the other side of the fence. You know, I was walking with God, but things begin to get into my life. Distractions, hurts, pains. And I feel so distant from God. Like Dave said so eloquently, his love has not left and he's just here today with his arms wide open waiting to embrace you again if that is you i want to open up this altar right now if you would like for us to just pray with you believe with you you want to come back into the arms of father or maybe you're here and you do not know jesus today's a great day yeah Today is a great day. I want you just to join us. Join us right here at this altar. Just get up out your seat and come right. There's anybody like that. Why don't everybody stand up so it'll be possible for people to get out of the aisles, get out to the aisles. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to meet you. Is anybody like that? Go ahead. Come on down now. Come on down. Yep. Come on. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Right here too. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Anybody else? Come on. <laughs> this is the Super Bowl. 
This is where we win. Anyone else? Give me just a moment longer. All right. God bless. Well, come on, let's rejoice. I just think that was the best message I never preached. So let me just uh, let me just read this scripture over you and remind you of where, you know, any time of your day, anywhere you are, God is there and loves to exhibit His love on you and for you and distribute His love into your heart so that you live with a consistent, a consistent understanding that he loves you and that that love has, a, has an impact on the way you live your life. Paul said that we are to constantly be being filled with the Holy Spirit, right? There's a reason for that. <laughs> There's a reason for that, it's not like separate encounters. It's like a continual being filled with the Holy Spirit because in Romans chapter 5 it says, therefore having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So if we walk in an awareness of the one who is in us, we will be continually being filled with the Holy Spirit. We'll be continuing having a revelation on a daily basis of his love for us. And I just pray that over you as we conclude this time and these around the altars can just stay. But just, just pull your hands out like you're going to just receive something right now. Lord, I pray with Paul that we would understand, we would have that kind of understanding that comes from having experienced something. 
the depth, the height, the length, the width of your incredible love for us. So Holy Spirit, we give you permission in this week to just just display your love to us. Fresh new ways. We open our heart to a fresh infilling every day, every moment, a fresh awareness of who you are in us and of your great love for us. That we might then turn that love upon the world that's in such desperate need of knowing your love. Fill us that we might spill upon the world around us. Pour out your spirit every day upon our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The well, Lord bless you. Walk in a fresh awareness every day this week. This is your day to be loved. <laughs> Unreasonably to be loved. Uh, thank you, Kendra, for igniting this morning. She will be having uh, this Friday in the hangar a release party for her CD. You're all invited. So over in the hangar this Friday. What time is that, Kendra? Seven? Seven o'clock over in the hangar. Uh, uh, CD she's just now releasing. It'd be great to be there this Friday. So love you. And listen, if you, if, you want, if you forgot to get into uh, the deeper school of supernatural living, you can still do that. We've started last Wednesday. We had a great class, but next week you can go ahead and do that if you want to see uh, see Rick back at the table and go by and, and get all the little cards of all the different people we support around the world so you can pray for them. You can do that at the table in the back for our war chest table. God bless you. Have a great week. Love to see you Wednesday night. If you'd like more prayer down, your, uh, the ministry team will be here to pray for you.